everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Y'all remember as a kid, your parents feeding you that store-bought box tuna helper? Well, we're going to throw away that box today. We're going to make it homemade in a homemade bechamel sauce, which I'll also show you how to make. Simple, easy recipe. Delicious. So much better than what you get in that box at the store. Stay tuned. First, empty your tuna into a strainer. Put it in the sink and let it drain that water. Take some crackers and break them up into a bowl. And then add parmigiano parsley give it a mix and set it aside in a pot of boiling water heavily salt this boiling water it's the key to great tasting pasta when it returns to a boil add in your egg noodles we're going to cook this just short al dente however after a few minutes of cooking that's when we want to add in our frozen peas and cook those until they're softened don't drain this though until you drain out a little bit of that water about a half a cup now the bechamel sauce, add some butter to a pan over medium heat, add equal amounts of flour, and stir that in. We're looking to make a roux. It'll become a kind of a light colored paste like you see here. That's time to start gradually adding in your milk and cream. Just keep stirring as you get all of this milk and cream in there. Once you have all your cream and milk in there, go ahead and keep stirring until it comes to a boil. Then start adding your spices. The recipe and the directions are listed in the description box below the video. Just click that show more box and it'll pull all of that up. After you have all your spices in, continuously stir this until it's well combined. We want to bring this back to a high simmer. Then add cheddar cheese, parmigiano cheese, and then stir that until all that cheese is melted. This sauce will thicken as you go. You can see what you got here this is kind of what you're looking for where it coats that spoon set that aside add in your drained peas and your noodles hit it with that starchy water your tuna and stir all this together until it's all well combined after that hit it with that crumb parmesan parsley mixture on top plate it up and have a bite guys real simple much better than what you get in that box at the store especially in that bechamel sauce i hope you guys give this a try if you do let me know please like subscribe and comment i'd love to hear from you guys and as always thanks so much for stopping in i do appreciate you watching my videos until next time bye bye y'all